are you guys doing today? I hope you're doing so, so well, and I'm super excited to be back today with another video. As you can tell, I'm in a new space. This is my new bedroom. I don't have my filming room set up quite yet, so we're gonna be filming today on my bed. I've got my little fluffy Odie here. Otis is a golden doodle. He is wonderful, I love him. But I'm super excited because today I'm gonna hit you up with a bins haul. If you guys don't know me, I am a full-time reseller and I sell primarily on Poshmark. It's just my preferred platform to sell on. And I love to go to the Goodwill Outlet, the Goodwill Bins, because everything there, everything is in bins and you pay per pound, not per item. So at my Goodwill Outlet, I get a dollar and then I put them So I'm able to get a really good deal on these pieces and then when I flip them, I can make a bigger profit. So today I have lots of different pieces to show you that I got at the Goodwill Outlet last time I went. So I'm super excited to jump into the haul and hopefully you guys can learn some different brands to be on the lookout for if you're interested in reselling or if you just like hauls, this is a big one, so it's gonna be fun. So let's jump into the first piece. This first piece that I picked up is this really nice little button down. And this is a men's piece. It's like this nice blue navy button down and then it has this understitching of kind of like a goldish, orangish color. So it does really nice things in the light. But this is by the brand Canali. And I've never heard of this brand. But at this same trip, I found a bag full of designer items that I picked up a lot of things from. I found Burberry, I found Gucci, and this was in that bag. So that gave me, that made me give it a second look. And so I gave it a second look. I looked up comps for this, and this is a very expensive shirt. So this is a very nice menswear item, and this was made in Italy. So I picked this up, it's in a size 39, and the neck is a 15 and a half. So I think that's probably about a size medium or large. But this is a very, very expensive shirt when you're buying it. So this is a brand I had never heard of. This is a Bolo. This is something to look out for because I believe that the comps looked like they range from like $50 to $150. So I'll do some more research and I'll put comps up on the screen like I normally do. But for just a plain button down, I probably paid less than a dollar for this and I should be able to make at least $50, maybe even $100 off of just the first item, which will cover the rest of the entire haul because I think in total I spent like maybe $30, $40 for all of this. So what a good find. I definitely will be looking out for more Canali in the future. And then this next piece that I picked up is just a simple Under Armour t-shirt and it just has this cool like Under Armour in script and then the Under Armour logo also just straight across. This is in a size 3X and it is their loose fit heat gear t-shirt. I sell Under Armour and Nike pieces pretty much all the time and they're not gonna be huge money makers, but this is like bread and butter right here. So I probably will sell this between 25 and $35. I'll probably list around 35 and hope to make $20 after everything is said and done. But I thought that that was a nice piece to pick up and I like to pick up things that are plus size. So a 3X should do really well and I'm happy to pick something like that up for maybe like a dollar. Then this next piece I picked up is this really fun pair of really bright yellow leggings from Fabletics. So I don't always pick up Fabletics leggings, mostly because I've had the most difficult time trying to size them. If they pull that pull tag off, it's really difficult to figure out what size they are. But these ones have pockets on the side. I thought this was a really fun yellow. And this one still had the pull tag intact, which is why I picked it up. So it has this little white tag on side, so I can tell what size it is. This is the Pure Lux, made by Fabletics, and this is on a size medium. So a size medium pair of really fun yellow leggings. And these are a, probably like a three quarter, maybe like a little bit more of a cropped fit. So this will be a nice transitional piece from the summer to the fall. It's a really cute color. It's very like banana yellow. And actually fall is looking like it's going to have a lot of bright colors as part of the trending colors for this season. So these should hopefully do well. And those will probably list around probably 25 to 35, maybe 35 and hope to make again like 20 on those. Now this next thing is something that I have no idea how to price because I am not super familiar with the kids wear sector of reselling, but I do pick up some vintage pieces occasionally. This piece I had to pick up because these are a vintage pair of little guest denim shorts. They have this super cool, the little vintage guest triangle back here on the booty. I think it's so cute. We have a little bit of stretch up here in the top. And then we also have a little guest tag up here at the top as well as um, guests written on that little button. Somebody tried to sell these at a Goodwill and they didn't sell so they went to the outlet and I rescued them from the landfill and hopefully I can find somebody that will love these. 
I just think these are so unique and I know that this little guest tag is really popular and really sought after in the like women's wear market and the men's wear market. I don't know what it looks like for kids. So I'm gonna have to do some more research. But my guess is these will probably resell, I'll probably list around 25 bucks maybe. I don't know. I'm gonna have to do some research, but these are a size 4Y. So for youth is my guess there. And just like even the guess, even this guest tag, I feel like just looks super old and cool. So I grabbed these and I just thought these were absolutely precious. And because these are such a little small pair of shorts, I maybe paid like 50 cents, maybe less for that. So I thought it was worth picking up and giving it a try because it didn't cost me very much to try it out and I just thought they were so cute. And then this next piece that I picked up was also in my Gucci bag, Gucci, Burberry, Canale, like all these things. And it's this pair of little Ralph Lauren pants. So technically I think this is Lauren Ralph Lauren. Yeah, it's Lauren Ralph Lauren, it's a green tag. And it's this pair of little like high-waisted floral pants. So these are a little bit cropped. These are just a sweet little dainty pair of pants. They're in a nice like cotton fabric. They don't feel very, like they don't feel too thick, but these are Lauren Ralph Lauren Petite. It's a size two petite and it's made of 98% cotton and 2% lycra. They have little darts here at the back. I just thought these were a very like high quality pair of pants. I've not had the best luck selling Lauren Ralph Lauren up to date. But again, since these were in that Burberry bag, I just knew they were high quality and I thought that maybe I could find a buyer for them. So these might sit until next spring, but even so, since they're so little and so light, I didn't spend very much on those. So I'm, I'm still happy that I picked them up. Now, this next piece is this vintage dress. And this is a really nice little polka dot number got a wrap style top. We have shoulder pads up here. It's all completely sheer though. So you would have to wear something underneath this. It might've had a slip at one point. It definitely was not in the bins, but it still had the belt attached to it. So you tie it around there, make it into a nice little bow in some area. And then it's kind of like a knee length, maybe a little bit longer than the knees. And this is by the brand Petite Sophisticate. And this is in a size 14. So I picked it up, that's definitely a vintage tag. I thought that this could be really fun, really cute. And so I thought I'd try to sell that. I'll probably list it around 25, 35. And again, hope to make 20 to 25 on that. A lot of these things are just things I'm hoping are my bread and butter pieces that are just gonna sell for about 25 bucks. Hopefully they'll be quick and easy sales. Something like these, like Adidas little tank tops. I sell a couple of these probably a month or so. And this is a two pack I found in a different bag. This is a cute little high neck and then kind of really deep cut on the side tank top. I love the pink. I think it's perfect for working out. And this is in a size medium. So I got the pink one. And then this somebody apparently tried to DIY the white one. So this one has a little bit of a V-neck cut to it. But again, that same, exact same cut, exact same size, it's a size medium. I paid probably a dollar for the set of these and I'll probably list them separately just in case one person doesn't want pink or doesn't want white. And I'll probably list them around $15 a pop and hope to make maybe like 10 bucks a piece from those. And then I found a nice little Columbia puffer jacket. So I have a few of these that I've sold, a few of these that I've listed, but I picked this one up because sometimes I don't pick up, I don't pick up Columbia all the time. I don't like to pick up their fleeces really much anymore unless they're like a plus size, but this one has that interior that keeps you really warm. It's their Omni heat kind of technology. So this is supposed to keep you really, really warm if you're in a really cold climate. So I thought that was worth picking up. This isn't a size small, so a men's small, and it's this nice navy blue color. So I grabbed this and I probably paid maybe like two bucks for this, but I know that these retail for more because of that technology on the inside of it. So I'm probably gonna list right around $50, maybe 65, and we'll hope to make 40 to 50 on that. And then next up we have this little pair of airy little kind of pool pants is what I would call these. They got a ruched little top here, a little bit of ruffle on the edge, and then they are just this really lightweight material flowy pants that have another little kind of ruched end to the pants as well. So these would look really good if you were at the pool. Honestly, these are just kind of cute for wearing out and about. But these are from Aerie in their size extra large. I know Aerie doesn't sell for a super lot, but this is also a size extra large. So I could wear these too if I would want to, um, but I might try them on. If I like them, I'll keep them. If I don't, then I'll just pass them along to Poshmark and I'll probably sell these around 20 bucks. Now, this is a little bag of things that I am so excited about. It's this humongous Ziploc bag full of dog bandanas. So I'm super excited. Otis is always, whoops, Otis is always wearing a bandana. 
So I was like, oh, I could keep these for him. These ones might be too small for him, but basically somebody must have had either fabric scraps or this was their business. They have all these different bandanas with different themes to them, and they kind of have like a little cut to the edge of all of them. So we have like snowmen, we have more snowmen, we have this like Christmas, oh, this one's bigger. I bet I could fit this around his neck. This one has like little gingerbread men on it. But there's like tons. A lot of them are winter, but then you get down in here further. And then this one is a little ladybug one. So I have like, there's so many in here. <gasps> oh my gosh, a little fall one. Oh, I love it. I might try to tie that one onto Otis right now. Um, but there's just like so many different kinds, so many different colors. So I was thinking that, I mean, I'm one of those people that would totally pay money for a little cute bandana for my dog. And I'm thinking other people would as well. So I was thinking about selling these in a lot, like get a couple different seasons and a lot of them together and sell them. I'm not sure, what do you guys think? Like, would you bundle all of them together? Would you just do a couple seasons together for these and try to sell them? I feel like there is a market for this. Oh, the bag says buddy scarves. My heart. So I just thought this was really cute. And if nothing else, I'll use them for Otis. Maybe if they fit his little head, he's kind of a big boy. So I got all of these for probably like a dollar, but these are lots and lots of scars. And there's so many different fun, like themes to them. Oh my gosh, is this another fall one? I love a themed bandana. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. Gosh, I'm gonna pull those two aside to try on Otis. But I'm gonna probably sell these. Maybe I'll keep a couple for Odie. Okay, then next up, I have another little Adidas crew neck sweatshirt. This is really thick, it's really nice. So this is a size extra large. Is this just this really nice blue colored crew neck sweatshirt? So I thought that was good. And again, I sell quite a few of these all the time. So I'll probably list around 25, 35. Not the most exciting thing in the world, but definitely is still a money maker. I wouldn't sleep on picking up Adidas. It definitely is worth it, at least in my opinion. Now, these are something that I haven't done research on yet, but these I also found in my Gucci and Burberry bag. And these are little scarves. I think that they're still worth it. They are kind of like a longer scarf, so I believe that, you know, you would tie this either onto your bag or this would be a really nice little moment, just like, you know, like on the front of you. But these are all by the brand Paoli? Paoli? And I don't know that designer, so I'm gonna look that up. It does feel really nice. It doesn't feel like it's silk. It feels more like a polyester. But because these are, because these were in such a nice bag of items, I decided to pick them up. That first one is really cool. I love the oranges. This one is a blue striped one. It has some yellow and green running through it. And again, we have the Paoli, the Paoli little insignia. We have the little name down there on the corner. And then we also have this one, which is an orange and green and black and white one. So they're all the same size and shape and they all have this little logo down there at the end. So I picked up all three of them and these, these weigh next, next to nothing. I mean, I paid maybe a quarter to get all three. And if I am guessing right, I bet I can sell each one for about 20 to $25. So that would be a good flip, at least for cost of goods versus how much I would sell them for. So I'm happy about those. I'm excited to see if they will give me a good amount of money. But I just, I really like this one. Like, is that not so cool? But if I'm wrong, I'll put, comments will be up on the screen for those. So pay attention to the screen as you watch. But I just thought those were super cool. So I picked those up as well. And then I am so excited about this. I found this puffer in the bins. And this is like this kind of ombre. It starts with black, goes down to a white. But this is from Armani. So I found this Armani jeans puffer coat. And this is in a size 54. So I'm going to look up what those sizes are for Armani, but this is Armani jeans and it's in a size 54. So my guess is that's probably like an extra large, but this feels like really high quality. Like it feels really nice. It's really packable. It's like a nice down coat. Has a zipper down the front and then we also have zippered pockets on it. Ah, I was right. So it's a European size 54, US size extra large. There are some marks on the inside, like there's some marking throughout, but even so, I still thought it was definitely worth it. I got this in the bins for maybe like two or three bucks. So I got this designer item. This was not in my Gucci bag, but it definitely made me really excited. So I'm gonna try to give this a good wash because I think it just needs a wash and then I think a lot of the marks on it will come out. But after that, my guess is I can probably list it around a hundred, a hundred dollars maybe. 
and then hope to make at least $75 off of this. So really excited about this piece too. And then I almost forgot, I also found this little scarf. I think this was also in that expensive bag. I don't know this. I don't know what this is at all. It definitely is not the same feel as those other scarves. It doesn't have a brand on it. So if you guys know anything about this, then let me know. But I thought even for like a cool, unique scarf like that, I could put it up and maybe sell it for like 10 to 15 bucks. So grabbed that as well. And that again was really light. And then next up, I have this little Victoria's Secret pink sports bra. And I do really well with Victoria's Secret pink in general. And I also do well with bras from Victoria's Secret in general. So this one is in a size medium. It's the pink Victoria's Secret Ultimate sports bra. And it has this really fun mesh kind of detailing right there and a really cool like thick band. It's really nice. We have a racerback style and it has a hole in the back and more mesh. So I thought that was really cool. And I'll probably be able to list that for about 25 bucks as well. And then I found in the bins this really cool NFL tie. So this is the Baltimore Ravens and this is an official NFL product. So this is an NFL Ravens tie and gosh, I see so many people around here wearing Baltimore Ravens pieces all the time. It's really popular, at least over here in Maryland where I live, which makes sense. Um, but I think that I, even on Fridays, I see so many people wearing Ravens gear. So I think that this would be a really good gift for somebody, for a man in your life that likes the Ravens. And you know, casual Friday, if you still have to wear a tie to wherever you work, I think that's a good addition to the outfit. So I picked that up and I'll probably list that around 25 to 35, especially since it is an NFL product, I can get more for it. So then this next piece that I picked up is this vintage little happy St. Patrick's Day Tweety Bird hanging? Wall hanging? I don't know. There's an empty pocket here at the top so you can put a like wooden dowel through it. So I don't know, this is probably an exterior grade. It feels a little bit like a polyester flag. But I like that it says Happy St. Pat Twix Day. I think that's adorable. And you know, you got Tweety Bird on here wearing a beard. I just thought it was so cute. So I picked it up, it is vintage. It does have an old Looney Tunes tag on it. I just thought it was sweet. And I wanted to include it in this because I do pick up home goods sometimes when I know I can make some good profit on it, especially when they are kind of like a really niche audience. People love Looney Tunes. So I picked it up and I'll probably put it up either on Posh I'll probably put it up on eBay for like 25, 35 bucks maybe. And we'll see if I get any traction with that. And then I picked up this pair of sweatpants and I could not believe that nobody else had picked these up by the time I got to them. Maybe they just didn't know what the front meant, but I saw them based on the back. I saw the true religion little insignia here on the back. This is just like stitched on, which I think is really cool. And then I flipped it around. I saw the true religion across the front. I thought it was really sweet. So these are in a size small and they are by true religion. And so I definitely thought this was worth giving it a try since they were in the bins, but they are a pair of black jogger sweatpants and that one pocket on the back. And then these pockets on the front have true and then religion on them as well. I thought it was a really cool piece and I probably can get at least $35 for that. So I'll probably list around $50 and hope to make 35, but we'll see again. I'll put the comps up on the screen as I go as well. And then this is just a simple little Hanes sweatshirt. I just really liked the color of this. It's kind of like a creamy gray color, but this isn't a size extra large, it's oversized. And I was gonna try this on for myself and if it looks good on me, I will keep it and wear it. I just love crewnecks. They're like my guilty pleasure. So I picked this up for maybe a dollar or two for myself and we'll try it on and see how it works. And then next up, I found this Lacoste little shirt and this was in the Gucci and Burberry bag. So I found so many good things that day. And I picked up Lacoste a few times now, all from the bins. I've never found it anywhere else um, for a decent price. So this is Lacoste, this is a size 36. This has got to be like an extra small. Everything else in that bag was like a size two. So my guess is a 36 is like a size two or four, but it's this really nice little green polo shirt from Lacoste. We have the Lacoste little logo right there, the alligator, and then Lacoste up here as well. And the size is in the red number on the corner. But I thought this was really nice. There's nothing wrong with it. It's in good shape. It's a little quarter button down polo shirt. And I should hopefully be able to sell this for at least 20 bucks. So I'll probably list around 35 and then hope to make at least 20, hopefully more like 25 to 30, but that's that piece. And then we have this little champion zip up hoodie. So I love picking up champion. I find it all the time in the bins and I sell champion all the freaking time. I sold a piece the other day for like 40, 50 bucks. So they definitely can be money makers. 
and this has the champion logo going down the arm and then we also have the champion logo up here this is not embroidered on so it's a little bit less high quality than some of the pieces that i pick up but it's still really nice so this isn't a size extra large Oh, so this is a kid's piece. So this is a kid's extra large piece, and I didn't realize that until right now. But from judging from this size, like I think that this would easily fit a woman's small. So I might just give measurements and list it as a woman's small. Um, but I also could list it as a kid's piece. So I guess maybe I'll list it as both, and we'll see which one sells first. But I picked that up for maybe a dollar or two, and hopefully I can resell that for at least 25. Now we have a few accessories and some other little clothing pieces. But make sure if you guys are liking today's video to hit that like button before you go today and also hit the subscribe button if you like Goodwill bins hauls, if you like going thrifting. I post three videos a week and usually at least two of those are thrifting content. There's a lot of thrifting going on here. But this piece that I picked up, I'm checking it for money. Guys, people say that they find money in things all the time in the bins and I've never found money in anything. But this is just a little, the sack, little kind of not braided, but a knit little navy blue purse. I think it is pretty nice and it's in great condition. So I picked it up for maybe a dollar in the bins and the sack, the comps were kind of all over the place, but I think I could sell those for maybe like 15 to $25. So I think I'll list around 25 and we'll see what I make off of that. And then this is something I've actually almost bought before at a Goodwill to resell, but it was just like $5 was too much for reselling it. But I think that I can make it work for getting it in the bins. And it is this Victoria's Secret pink, like almost like, it's like a sling cooler. So you can take it with you, like if you're tailgating, if you're going somewhere, but it's designed for cans. So I'm trying to see if I can show you it better, but it's like a round, thin, long tube, and then you unzip it. And the inside is like a cooler material. So it's lined, it's thick, it's thermal, and it's really cool. Like if you needed something like this to even go on like a car trip, I like it. And it's really a nice little mint green color. It has the pink logo going all the way down the strap and it's adjustable. So I thought this was a really nice little piece. And I think the comps for that were probably about 25 to 35. So I'll probably list 35 and have to make 25. And then this next piece is so freaking cute. It is this little Ralph Lauren hat and it is this creamy white color. And this is from Ralph Lauren and it is in a toddler one size. So it is Ralph Lauren, it's a blue label. It's a really high quality. Could this fit my head? Honestly, almost could fit my head. I have such a small head. Like it's just a little small for my head, but for a little toddler, like how precious would they look in this hat? It is so cute. I'm imagining either a little girl or a little boy with like an all cream outfit in their little hat. Oh, it kills me. I love it. So I grabbed that and I'll probably be able to resell that. I have sold a couple of Ralph Lauren hats for about 20 bucks, 25 bucks. So I'll probably list about 20 to 25 on that. And then I found another toddler hat and this is a little Baltimore Orioles little mini mouse hat. So I thought this would be super sweet if you had a little girl and you're going to a baseball game. I just thought that was adorable. So if they like Disney, if they like baseball, I thought that was a good pickup and it has that adjustable Velcro on the back. And this is also in a toddler one size. So again, 15 bucks maybe for that. And those are both so light and will not take up much room in my storage. Now, one of these times that they were flipping bins, they had all of these TYs, like the Beanie Babies. They had so many Beanie Babies all in individual plastic bags. And now looking back, I'm like, I probably should look through more. Because I just, I opened this one up because it looked interesting to me. And it is this little horse. And then on this side, it says number eight, Barbaro. And then on this side, it says Kentucky Derby 132nd winner. So the 132nd Kentucky Derby, apparently Barbaro won it. And this is a little mini Barbaro. Like how cute is that? And it was an impeccable condition. Like this thing is really nice. And then on the inside too, it's the 2006 Kentucky Derby winner and it's officially licensed product for Churchill Downs. So this is like, honestly, kind of a cool collectible item. And I had looked up comps while I was in the bins and this was selling for like $25, $35 just for the little horse and for picking it up for maybe like 10 cents. I thought it was definitely worth it. So again, I'm not, I'm not mad at picking up home goods if I can make a good profit off of them. So I thought I would give this a try. So now we have three more pieces. This first one is so cute. Guys, I just get hit by nostalgia for anything like Disney, like Winnie the Pooh, all of that jazz. This is a little Tigger pair of overalls. They're embroidered on there with Tigger and some like different, what are these, raccoons? Some different raccoons. And then there's also a little raccoon hiding in this pocket. I think it's adorable, little embroidered thing. And then it's all green and they have another little raccoon patch back here. But this is brand new with tags. It's for 18 months, it has a sticker up here on the front and it's from the Disney store, but it also still has a tag attached 
The bottom half was ripped off, so I don't know how much it originally cost. I got these, and I mean, maybe since they're carpenter style, they might be vintage. I probably could sell them for 15, 25 bucks. And again, super light, definitely worth the pickup. And then this next piece is another Nike piece. This is Nike basketball. And I'm so thankful sometimes that I have Jeremy and he knows things about sports because I learn things from that. So I have no idea what this thing is on the front here, but they've got gold metallic and on the back it is for jersey number 23. So I know that jersey number 23 is LeBron James and LeBron James is very popular. Jeremy loves LeBron, everybody loves LeBron. He was just in Space Jam. Like there's so many good things going on and people like him as an athlete. So I picked this up and this is in a size medium. So this is, I think a girl's medium, but it's a really cool piece. It's, I love the gold with the purple. I think it's really nice. And we have this really nice black hoodie as well. And again, Nike basketball dry fit. So definitely a good pickup for being in the bins. I bet I could sell this for at least $25, maybe more since it's LeBron James themed, but it's helpful to know your sport sometimes if you're a reseller, guys. Like just even knowing some very popular sports people and what their numbers are can be really useful when you're digging through bins and bins of clothing and you see a lot of jerseys and a lot of shirts with numbers on it that you're just like, wow. It can be hard sometimes to know who's who and who actually like people care about. But this one is somebody that people care about, so I picked it up. And then this last piece that I picked up is this Saks Fifth Avenue little button down. So I had two pretty nice button down pieces in today's haul, both that Canali one and also the Saks Fifth Avenue one. This one feels so luxe, like it's in this beautiful light, light blue kind of grayish color. And this is in a size extra, extra large. So that's a good size as well. Even if this was a girl wanting to wear this, like just open over things, like this is a really nice piece. Tempting myself by saying that wearing an oversized over things would be really cute, especially with how soft this is. This is 100% cotton, but this is like so soft. I don't know. I've never felt cotton this soft before. I'm not sure what they did to it, but it is really nice. It's long, it's wide, it's an extra, extra large. And Sex Fifth Avenue is so nice. So I don't always pick up Sex Fifth Avenue at this point. Sometimes they just don't sell. It's sad. This is something I could probably send into the real real as well. I'm kind of fiddling around with what things to send into the real real and what things I should just sell myself. But I think I'm gonna send in a couple different pieces in the coming months because I have a lot of more designer items than I've ever had before. And it just might be worth it for me. So. This is the last piece. I hope you guys enjoyed this bins haul. I had a lot of things to share with you guys and I'm so excited to have you here. So make sure you guys hit the subscribe button if you're not already subscribed. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up if you wanna help out my channel. And I am so grateful for each and every one of you guys. I hope you are having an amazing day. I hope you have an amazing rest of your day. And until the next video, bye. Bye.